Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. We are currently witnessing a G5 solar storm. Got my cup of coffee. I need my coffee. It's early here. NOAA scientists are saying that we have had several G4 and G5 solar storms, geomagnetic conditions. Several additional Earth-directed coronal mass ejections are in transit to Earth making it likely that geomagnetic storming will persist through the weekend. Looking at areas here in the United States, the only area that has power outages on the power outage U.S. map is Florida. Um, 99,252 people are without power, but they're blaming that on spring storms. One person, a woman in Tallahassee, was killed because of the weather. As you know, um, solar storms can create adverse weather, earthquakes, volcanic eruption, disruption in our power, satellite, etc. In the last 24 hours, we had another, another X-flare. Yep, we had another solar flare. This one was a X5.7. They seem to be getting larger, but not as large as the one in 2003 that they call a, um, or the Halloween solar flare. That one had an intensity of a X45. No word about different satellites that may have been affected. Here we have um, for Spectrum. Yeah, you can see that they are having major outages. Um, people that can report, 1,021 have reported problems with communication. City Bell is also reporting problems. You can see hit this here in the last 24 hours. Yeah, the numbers, these are just the numbers that people have managed to call in and say that they can't. And this is as of 7 a.m. It's currently 7.23 a.m. where I'm at. W-O-W. This is an open, uh, wide open West Networks. Dish Networks. Southern California Edison. And looks like it's going down. Low cast. So it looks like the two largest is Spectrum and... City Bell. This large complex sunspot cluster, which Noah named uh, 3664, has now grown to 17 times the diameter of Earth, has been the primary source of all the activity. Experts still uh, think that this region has more to give. Before all this recent activity began, the most recent G4 severe storm occurred on March 23rd, 2024, while the Halloween storm in October of 2003 marked the last G5 extreme event. And we're experiencing that now, G5. That storm caused outages in Sweden and damaged transformers in South Africa. You know, it does underscore the potential consequences of such a powerful geomagnetic storm disturbances happening now with our weakening of our magnetic field we don't know how this is going to affect the earth more so say than what happened in um, 1859 during the Carrington event I have heard reports and it's unconfirmed that our magnetic field is now 50% weaker than it was back then and now NOAA is warning even though a lot of people have been saying this that these storms that we're currently going through could rival the 1859 Carrington event. I hope not. That storm disrupted global communications and set telegraph stations on fire. Hard to believe, but this storm is probably also affecting undersea cable networks to, you know, ones that connect different countries to each other. If you think about you know, the Carrington event compared to nowadays, we are so dependent upon our power, um, communication, satellites. We're all connected nowadays. 
so different things that could happen in the near future uh, voltage control problems and mistaken tripping of protective systems in the power grid intense induced pipeline currents yeah can you imagine um, those long oil and gas pipelines they could attract the um, plasma the electrical charges and short out equipment or even cause fires yeah drag on low earth satellites that could affect not just the re regular average citizen but also the military inoperable satellites that can last for hours or maybe even days or knock them out completely GPS could go down maybe it has gone down I, I haven't found any reports but I'm sure it is the satellite communication with our TV our different networks that we we watch but besides all that yeah last night I was watching a report of auroras seen as low as Florida and Texas I went out here where I'm at in South Dakota I didn't see anything but then I have a lot of light pollution auroras were also reported in Missouri there was also reports of auroras in Russia Scandinavia the UK and different places in the uh, continent of Europe there was also some reports of seeing auroras as far as Spain one good thing that is currently happening is sunspot 3664 is currently um, heading towards uh, the far side of the Sun the solar disk so if it does shoot off any more large plasma towards Earth uh, maybe it will just get a glancing blow or nothing at all we'll just have to see but yeah we got another one coming around you can see over here I don't know if, no it doesn't look like they've given that one a name let me bring it over right there all we can do is be prepared buckle up make sure your gas tanks filled up and you have extra water and food things like that in case the power goes out and the stores shut down 17 times larger than the earth that's unbelievable here's some of the images that were sent in to X here we have um, Finland Northern California this one is from Ireland Scotland Cornwall UK another image from the UK another image from Sweden this one here from Indiana that's here in the United States Canada yeah saying a shout out to our friends in Canada did you get to see it another one from Canada Detroit Michigan another image from Detroit Michigan and yet another Chicago Illinois faint but you can see it looks like they had cloudy weather the state of Washington another image from Washington Prague I believe that's Germany another one from Prague boy that's a beautiful view isn't it this could be Australia I might be wrong about that someone sent this in from Stonehenge yeah look at that Chile South America another image from Chile and another I think that might be the Milky Way there this one was sent in from Southern Ontario yeah Canada just beautiful look at that look at the activity this one here is from the United States I'm not quite sure where in the United States I have seen them like this years and years ago here in South Dakota yeah just beautiful yeah just beautiful someone sent this in from their airplane yeah think of all the extra radiation you're getting might be beautiful but hopefully you're not up there very long yeah just beautiful this image was sent in from Indiana look at that 
Key Largo, uh, Florida. San Francisco, California with the Golden Gate Bridge. That is beautiful. This looks like a time-lapse image from New Zealand. Let me bring it up. Just beautiful. England, there in the UK. Missouri. Another image from Missouri. Australia, they're saying that the lights can be seen all the way to New Zealand. Another post from South Coast, Florida. Now, if you put your images on X, um, please include um, the state, the city, you know, the location, instead of just putting up the photo. I'd like to know, and sure everybody else would like to know, exactly where you are seeing this from. Hollister, California. Another image from Hollister. Once again, Hollister, California. And this image is from Germany, Southern Missouri. So what are your thoughts? What have you experienced so far? Have you seen the Northern Lights? Have you noticed fluctuations in your power or communication? Please put your information down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, thumbs up my videos. That will help with the ranking here on YouTube. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.